What up, y'all? Born shining here. We're all born shining. You're born shining. Me too. We're all born shining. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. All right. They don't know what the hell they're talking about. Uh, yeah, I'd like to thank the universe, spirit guides, Archangel Metatron, Archangel Michael, and the ancestors, totems, animals, spirit animals. Fucking so much support. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's mind blowing. All right. Well, this one is going to be talking about my family, my childhood, and my family. It's kind of a conglomerate. I hope the, the sound is okay. Anyways, um, so my family. How do I describe my family? I mean, um, genetically, my family is from lots of different, a lot of different things. Um, my grandma. Her dad came from Mexico. She married a German guy with a, from a German family. And then on my dad's side, and that, that's all, that was on my mom's side, and then my dad's side, a French Creole. So we come from Louisiana. And that is a combination of Spanish, Native American, and African, um, French. And so, yeah, you can see me. I mean, I don't, I'm, I look white, you know? And for all intents and purposes, when I walk around, that's how I'm treated. Um, and people tell me stuff that, I don't know why the hell they tell me that kind of, they tell me this crazy shit about their what they believe because I look white it's like I'm some kind of it's like undercover brother or something you know these fucking asshole racist people just they open up to me about about shit like that their dirty secrets but um you know so yeah me being a little growing up being a white kid pretty you know me and my brother we're the my dad, you know, we're the whitest people in the family. Whatever. I mean, that's what it is, dude. I don't, fuck. I don't think any less of myself. But I will say that how I found out, you know, I'm living. I mean, just going through my life. I know that the people I have around me in my family, my cousins and aunts and uncles and my grandparents even don't look like me in the same you know skin color skin tone you know they look like Mexican or Indian or something like that you know what I mean they're brown like they're brown and I'm not but I didn't I didn't think anything of it as a kid didn't even question it. And then one year, we went to a family reunion, and my family in Louisiana, my family is huge. We got a huge family. I mean, my nuclear family is kind of large, but the extended family is, it's fucking big, all right? Between just my family and the family that we've married into, all right? It's a big family. So when you get all these people together, you don't know what the fuck is going on. Who's who, what's what. Fucking white people, black people, brown people, yellow people. Everybody's, it's a, you don't know what the fuck. We're all family, you know what I mean? And so I went when I was really young. I don't know how old I was, maybe eight, something like that, around that time frame. I went to a family reunion and I was the only white people. I mean, me, my dad, and my brother were the only white people there. And that was a little, that was a different side of the family, but nevertheless, it's still family. All right, so that's, that's an experience that I had as a kid, as a child, you know, and then to go and then to have to go to school, all right? And then I was in, in seventh grade, 
lived in South Carolina. My parents were Marines, so we moved around a little bit. Living in South Carolina, Beaufort, South Carolina. Going to school. I was in seventh grade. And getting, getting picked on by black kids at the school because I'm white. But I'm not white. But I am white, but I'm not. But how do I explain that? to people, you know? So you deal with it, you move on, and you just, you just learn. You just learn not to treat people that way because it's fucked. It's fucking stupid. And so as I got older, I started learning more about my family and it, you know, it started to become a bigger thing. Not because my family is like, like the Kennedys or something. I don't know. Maybe. I'm still learning. I don't know. We've, I'm not, I won't discount it, but I'm just I'm making a point that we're not a super, it's not like we're a well known family or hoity toity or whatever, you know? Um, so I'm learning about my family, but I will say that I am fortunate in the sense of my heritage is very well documented in the sense that the woman who started my family from in Louisiana, who earned her freedom by healing her master's sick wife, Marie Therese Conque, spelled coin coin, coin dash coin, from West Africa, healed her master's sick wife with traditional African herbalism and pretty much Reiki, earth energy, um, earned her freedom, started buying her children out of slavery. Started in a business, shipping goods to New Orleans. All right. Now, that's a pretty cool story. You'd think that that would be I don't know, maybe important. You know, but the thing that's weird is that in my family, it's not something that they talk about, which doesn't make any fucking sense to me. How are you going to disown your fucking relative? How do you disown your ancestor who put you on the fucking map? You guys are all living on the land that she owned. You live there now. All that land. Where do you think that came from? came from her and her effort all right I don't know exactly who sold this woman out but some somewhere down the line somebody in the family sold out they sold out here's an here's another interesting fun fact all right the oldest African structure the oldest afro engineered structure is on my family's former on my family's former land in louisiana all right what does that mean it means that it's like an african came from africa and built this built this building like he would have or she would have if they were in africa All right, the oldest church, the first church in the United States built by non-whites for non-whites was built by my family in Louisiana, Cane River, St. Augustine. I don't understand. Let me rephrase that. I don't know what kind of deals were made, but somebody sold the family out. And since then, it's been get in line. We have a lot of, we have a huge military history in my family. Pretty much everybody joins the military. I didn't. I didn't. Fortunately, I went to school, all right? And I got a degree in political science. I considered it a couple times because that's what social engineering will do. It'll fuck with your head. It'll get you to think, options 
shitty options are, are great. That's what social engineering will do. It's social, social engineering will get you to think that joining the military is a fucking solution to your life's problems. All right? What the hell is that about? So somebody in the family sold out. You had to sell out the person, your, your mom. You know what I mean? It's like somebody had to sell out their mom or their dad or their brother or something like that. All right. And then from then on, it's just been kind of past the buck. But you know what? It stops right here. It stops here with me because I'm telling you what, I'm not going to deny who I am. All right. I'm not going to deny what I'm capable of. And I'm not going to deny where I come from. All right. Anybody who's denying where they come from is a fucking coward. I don't care if Adolf Hitler is your grandpa. You fucking own that shit. All right, you fucking own it. You're like, yeah, Adolfo was my fucking grandpa. What a douchebag that guy was. What can I do about it? I can't do shit about it. Except learn. All right, but this is different. We, we, we had somebody in my family that was a bona fide fucking healer. All right, a bona fide fucking healer. And this is documented. All right, Elizabeth Schoen Mills, John Stewart Mills, they write books about this stuff. You can go check it out. All right, it's documented. This isn't, I'm not pulling this shit out of thin air. She healed people. People would travel to her to be healed. I don't know how many generations I haven't looked at the fucking paperwork. But I can 